Hello everyone and welcome back to another giant unboxing. Today we are finally graced by the presence of the real 1-4th Saber Ultria Pendragon. So if you haven't watched it already, I did a video on the fake bootleg version. I've compared that since to the 1-4th scale gill if you want to follow up on that. Follow the, the train of videos. And now we are finally arriving to the real Ultria Pendragon, which of course we will compare to the fake to uh, spot out all the differences once more now that we've finally got her here in in the plastic, I guess. Uh, this one is pre-owned from Ami Ami. It did have quite a few scratches on the box, like little white marks, but a quick once rub over with um, a tissue seems to have gotten rid of most of them. So that's great. It basically looks as good as new. All it was missing was the, the plastic that came on Gilgamesh um, around the box. But that's not too big of a deal. The box does look really pretty. Once again, we've got uh, the nice little mark here telling us it's Saber uh, one fourth scale in gold, that shiny kind as well. Very nice. We've got the blue stripe, or yellow stripe even. I don't know why, I keep mixing yellow and blue up. Uh, I've done that for like years now. Anyway, my minor gripes aside, uh, the back, we have this once again, another uh, summoning circle, as well as Saber Pendragon, plus a uh, silhouette. Let's see if I can get this at a good angle. There you go, you're gonna see some of the tripod there, but oh well. And down the bottom right, we have, of course, the Type Moon logo, a uh, sticker thing that proves it's official. Uh, let's get the camera back in, in place. This thing really is too big. It stays out of focus out of, all the time. Again, same thing on this side. Uh, the top, we have uh, Fake Grand Order. And on the bottom, uh, we have just all the logo stuff, which we won't uh, worry too much about. Anyway, let's uh, let's get her out of that box. Gonna have to stand up for this one. All right, hold on. I think the other one opened from the back, so let's try this way. I think there's dust on my desk. Probably from all like Gundam stuff. Okay. He who shall pull the saber from the box shall become king of fake grand order. Maybe that's where all my luck in the rolls recently have been coming from. There we go. Alright, yep, this is, uh, in fact, the right way to open it. You'd think you should open it from the picture side, but I guess not. Okay. I suppose we'll just slide her out. Interesting that some of it's black and some of it isn't. Also, I like the inside of the box a lot. It's got a very nice black interior. All right. Let's uh, pull her back, shall we, and get the knife out. So yeah, this one does have black uh, plastic on the back, which is housing these guys here, which of course, if you've seen the other video, uh, we know these should be in here, but it's a very different type compared to the fake. All right, let's get all of this tape out of here. Seemingly, this hasn't been opened. There's like one bit of tape that's been cut, but the others seem to still be intact. Is there any on the bottom? There's one on the top. Okay. Any on the bottom? There is one on the bottom. There we go. Oh boy, she wobbles. Ooh, stay there, Saber. We don't want you falling over. Let's prop you up against this, shall we? Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Well, that's in the box. Okay, 
Where's her hair piece? Maybe the real thing doesn't have a hair piece. go. Alright. Gonna chuck that to the side. Alright. Let's take a look at her accessories. So, first up we have, once again, the transparent Excalibur. This, of course, is looking way better. The color detail on it is uh, much clearer. Everything is perfectly transparent. There is uh, none of those bubbles in this version which is very nice i will uh i'll keep this one out because this is probably the one i'm going to use because it does look great oh wait did i use the other one i don't remember anymore i'll use this one because uh this one does look more realistic than uh the fake one did plus it's uh it's nice to hold in the hand there we go it's the jewel sword zelric now nice all right then we have, of course, the real Excalibur, which is actually also transparent. Hmm, that's interesting. So comparing the two here, both of them are, in fact, transparent. It's just the hilt is uh, more visible on the real one. Huh. That's good to know, I suppose. Well, in that case, I'm going to use this one because they're both transparent at the blade. And again, no bubbles. So I guess that's one way to tell the fake and the real apart. And the fact that the fake just had the uh, the real non-transparent sword be silver over here. Alright, good to know. Then we have the invisible air particle effect. This is already looking a lot nicer. It doesn't smell weird or have any bubbles that I can see from here. Very nice. Keep that here for now. We've got instructions on, once again, we've got to pull off the base. This time I will try not to cut it like I did with Gilgamesh. And here's how we put everything together. Where's part H? I think we're missing a little hair thing, a hair quiff, which is a little annoying. I'll, uh, See if we can find it. Maybe it's on the figure, since this is pre-owned. Let's see, you're not hiding anywhere here. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, is this her hair thing? No, what the heck is this? This is a tiny little thing. Hold on. Where does this go? Uh, so we got part G. Where's part G go? F, B, A... D H E A G. Oh, okay. So it actually it attaches to her side to keep the sword all in a line. Okay, that's very nice. That's something the fake didn't have. The fake did have the holes for it though. Uh, and what is this? This is another another side thing, I guess. Well, the transparent part. Okay, we'll keep that to the side as well. Where does that one go? That one, no, that one is G. So what was the other thing? I'm lost. Oh, 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 it's H. It's to help um, align the invisible air. All right, I see what you're doing here. Very nice. But where on earth is Saber's hair? You can't have Saber without the hair piece. That's a shame. Well, we'll figure that one out for now. Let's uh, try and pull this thing off, shall we? Hopefully we can... Ah, oh, there we go. A lot easier than Gilgamesh. And now let's try and find an end that isn't too hard to get under. Come on. You don't want to end up like Gilgamesh, all cut up. Okay, here we go. Didn't even have to 
screw anything up this time. Also, is there a, there's a layer of plastic on top of it as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, did Gilgamesh have one as well? Did I take that off? I don't think I did. Okay. Let's get this all back into shot. Line you all up. There we go. Well, I suppose when we're ready for Saber, we'll just peel from here. Let's try and raise it just a bit for later. Oh gosh. Maybe I'll pull it out again. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Time to move these guys out of the way. Oh boy. Working with big things is a little difficult. Hopefully everything's still sort of in shot. I'll move the angle down just a bit so we get the top of Saber and the bottom of that. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll do this. Ugh. Let's see, I'm assuming you got tape on you? Yeah, you do. Chop. And chop. Where else are we looking here? Saber. Here. Down, down, down. And on your back you go. Anything underneath doesn't seem like it. Will you pull up? Yep, there we go. Okay, now the big piece of plastic. I'm just gonna eat it up. Oh, there we go. It's yeeted into the back. Oh boy, you have. Oh, oh, here's the hair. The hair was inside the whole time. Ah. Let's try to get it out. There we go. Here is her little hair piece. Put that on the stand for now. I suppose the fake just kind of faked me out, I guess you could say. Sorry, please don't leave for that one. All right. Back in you go. I'll keep this because I'll probably move eventually. So we'll want to keep you nice and bubble wrapped for the journey. Okay, you got some on your feet. You got a huge one across your dress. Just under your chin. And I think that's all of it. Let's pull this out of the way. Do you stand by yourself? Yeah, you do. And then we'll yeetus the other big plastic thing. Should have put this back in. Oh well. Well, there we go. There she is. Looking very cool, Saber. But of course we gotta we gotta top you off here. Let's pull you closer, shall we? Uh, which way did your hair thing go? Come on, in you go. Hold on, I might do this on my lap real quick. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Hold on, let me look at the box real quick. Uh, 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 you guys can admire Saber in the meantime. No, it's the other way. It's pointing towards her sword. Well, where her sword will be. So we go this way. I must say I'm a little concerned with the fact that... Oh no, wait, never mind, it's gone in. If you just use a little bit of force, it will... Uh, there is like a plastic bit at the end that's just transparent and you can see through. But there we go, that's Saber for you. Nice and cool looking, much better detail than the fake one. All the, the angles and stuff, like her head looks in the right position, her hands don't look all wonky and weird. Everything looks as it should be. 
which is fantastic. So let's pop her on the base and then we'll get a closer look. Because although she can stand on her own by the looks of it, I don't want her to. Because I don't want her to fall by accident. Okay. Let's push this in just a little bit. Make sure it's all down in there. Yep, that feels about right. Okay. Now then you go here, here, and there. Ow. This bit of her dress is really pokey. Okay. Down in you go. Nice and sunk in. All right, perfect. Now then, let's uh, set up your sword, sword. Okay. So, step one, you put it on. Step two, you put on the hair. Step three, there's Excalibur through the invisible air. Let's see. Hopefully this is all in shot. So we drive it through like so. Yeah, this, this went in a lot easier compared to um, the fake. Like, everything lined up better. Okay. And then we grab this part. Let me see. I need a closer look. And then around the back. You just stick it on, I suppose. But around here is there grooves to say exactly where you slide in oh oh it goes okay i think i'm seeing it so you clip it on the sword like anywhere in front if we can there we go and then we slide it on in underneath the invisible air. We push this in a bit more. Ow, everything is so pokey. I suppose this is what you get with good quality. Damn you, good smile. I must say this is a little awkward pushing this little plastic bit through invisible air. Okay, almost there. It's, uh, from what I can see, it's supposed to keep the invisible- Oh, God, I've shot it off me. I shot it at me, where'd it go? Ugh. Maybe I should have done that first. Okay, take two, hold on. Actually, you know what, I'll do this off camera. Give me a second. All right, I seem to have done it. So pretty much this goes under that those two pieces over there. And I guess it pushes this one out a bit more and makes that one go up a tiny bit more. Honestly, I don't really see too much of a difference. So I think you could leave it on or off and be fine either way. But I guess it's there. So I'll keep it on and just assume that it has a reason for being there. All right, what else do we gotta do? Then we put it through her arm, or her hand even. So like so. I think we don't have to pull anything off. It should just, yep, just go in there. And then G lines up with her fingers. Oh, I see. It goes inside her hand to, to keep everything in place, make sure it's nice and sturdy. So you'll put it just inside here, which is very interesting. Is that the right way? Hold on. Okay. Like, like this, safer? 
Does it go all the way in? No, I don't think it does. I think it just stands. Yeah, it's more like a rubber stop, so it goes partly in. Just to make sure, ugh, make sure the sword does not fall. So we'll have that like this. Push it as far in as it will go. Push this as far up as it will. Oh, this is keeping the invisible air from falling down. That's what it's doing. Because it's at a downwards angle. That makes sense. Alright, so. Invisible air in. Sword. Straight as if she's gonna. Oh, there goes that. Uh. Okay, got it. And then. Uh. Oh god, this thing is too small, my hands are too big. Put you in. Like that. Take a look at this from the front, see if it's all angled right. Now it's not. We tilt the sword ever so slightly. That seems to be right, yeah. Okay. I'm seeing the point of everything now. It all it all makes sense. Okay, and there we have it. That's Saber. All put together. Let's get some close-up shots here, shall we? I'll change angles and also change where I'm sitting. Okay. Immediately we're getting way more detail. She's looking a lot cleaner than she did before. Look at that face. Going down to the sword with no bubbles, all looking clean. We can barely see that attaching bit over there, especially from a distance, which is where I'll have it. There's a... Uh, a little bit of paint bleed here and there, but oh wait, no, it's not even paint bleed. It's just that's how the shirt is designed because it kind of flaps a little there. Very good, very nice. That's a small little detail no one's gonna notice. Okay, shading is done well. Let's check her out from the back. She doesn't smell kind of weird like the other saber did. Nice, nice, nice. Again, the fingers look like fingers. I've even kind of got like a glossy sheen to her nails. Jeez, talk about all the finer details. All right, shading on her dress is perfect. The gold bit shine on the bottom of the white part of the inner dress, I guess you'd call it. And everything looks good for Saber. Uh, let's uh, angle back. Yeah, this looks great so far. So uh, only thing left to do is do some comparing shots. So I will go hop over, grab the fake saber and Gilgamesh, and we'll do some size and uh, quality comparisons real quick. All right, let's do it. All right, here are the two sabers. We've got the real one on the left and the fake one on the right. So immediately we're seeing differences, so I've got them angled up as closely as possible. We're seeing differences in the way they are facing. I did notice this when putting it up on uh, my shelf, that her sword didn't look quite right. So the sword for the fake saber is almost at a 90 degree angle, whereas the real one is pointing downwards. The uh, invisible air looks completely different, going more transparent on the tips on the real one, where it's one solid blue. On the fake one uh, as well as the sword seems to be longer but maybe that's just a trickery of the eyes for the camera angle but as we can see there's differences in the bases so the real one here has the usual glass base same as we saw with Gilgamesh whereas the fake one just had a single plastic base and does kind of seem to be a bit bigger even the dress seems to be uh, missing details like there's shading in between each uh, crease, whereas this is just one solid color. The gold looks a little off on the tips, whereas this, it shines perfectly. Uh, even the shade of blue looks a little brighter on this, the fake one. Here's a close-up of the face. Looking very 
very anime, honestly, on that saber. Whereas this one looks kind of off. I don't really know what it is, but it, I guess it's the angle as well as the hair isn't as detailed. So if you look at um, particularly this bit here compared to real saber where you can clearly outline each individual hair strand that well clump of hair strand it's very different we've got uh, random blemishes on this one like uh, gold paint spilling over onto the white I think that's an eyelash whoops <laughs> that's uh, not meant to be there uh, whereas this it's just purely white nothing spills over the shading is done well and done right but yeah it's uh, at, at a distance it would be hard to tell fake from real, especially if you weren't uh, owning both of them and having them put next to each other. But uh, there we go, that's fake versus real saber. Um, the hair is lighter on real saber, which is nice, I like it. Uh, whereas yeah, a lot of the details just seem off when you compare the two, but only once you're comparing the two. Like, fake saber's dress flares about this much, whereas real is like a fair bit less. So, yeah. Size proportions, I guess, because they made the stand bigger, they've had to upscale the figure a tiny bit. But yeah, even her angles and the way her head is pointing is wrong. So, yeah, you can see Saber looks forward here, whereas this Saber is kind of looking off to the side for some reason. So, when I had her, I was angling her like this, which doesn't look quite right, whereas this does look right. So there we go. Now, of course, we got the big golden man himself as well. Uh, to compare him and the real Saber. So let's just move fake Saber out of the way for now. I'll have plans for you later on. Don't worry, Saber. We won't forget about you entirely. All right, which way lines up? I think this is straight or this is straight. I don't know. I'll look at the box again. But, yep, as we expect, Gilgamesh is ever so slightly taller because he is taller in the anime. So, of course, a one-fourth scale of Gilgamesh will be taller in one-fourth scale. So, yeah, they look great together. I'm hoping this keeps up and they do more one-fourth scales. I will be happy to spend my money on them. Just don't release them too frequently. My wallet can only handle so much. But... There we go. That is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, if you do, drop a like, subscribe for, I guess, more one-fourth scale figures whenever they happen. Uh, and also, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, would you go and buy a fake saber knowing that she looks somewhat similar, but not as quite as good as the real one? Uh, you can get this one cheap, and I don't encourage it because it's, it's honestly a world of difference between the two. Uh, but yeah, are you into one-fourth figures? Are you gonna get the real one or the fake one? Uh, are you gonna get Gilgamesh? Let me know all those things in the comments down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Alright, bye!